So let's come down to this. Dear YouTube, I have been making claim after claim, report after report. I have continued to make video after video, showing my continuous support against, or not, not against, excuse me, my continuous support for our dear old President Trump, a person in which you as a company clearly do not like and do not support, along with your liberal partners. Now, as I said before, there's a fine line between corruption and truth. In many of my videos, I've stated this. And just so everybody knows, this is not a typical one Death Eater video. And you might be wondering, what Death Eater? Why are you wearing such an outrageous trench coat that's clearly Kitty Toe's trench coat? Well, I'll explain that in a minute. But for now, I want to get down to business with YouTube. Because I, for one, am getting sick and tired of being constantly attacked by this corporation. Either be YouTube, Google, or anybody else. Just constantly attacked day after day after day with nothing to show for it. I have nothing to show for it because I can't even defend myself because I have no money. I have no money to go get a lawyer and tell YouTube, stop attacking me. So, I guess when it comes down to it, I am forcing myself to defend myself. I'm being literally forced to defend myself because a company like YouTube, is just constantly going to attack me time and time again. And there's nothing I can do about it. All I can do is just sit back in that fucking chair, play my video games, and watch as YouTube deletes video after video after video. So it, it, it is literally come down to this, where I'm blatantly being forced to almost officially announce that I'm probably going to sue YouTube. It's not official, but it's almost there. It's almost there. We've come down to this, where I'm being blatantly attacked time and time again over a video that doesn't even remotely have any kind of hate speech in it, but it's removed because, oh, somebody might get offended by it. Which, by the way, that video was supposed to represent... freedom of speech over another video that was removed earlier this year. Which, again, represents freedom of speech. There was no form of bullying in that video. And in the previous video that was taken off of YouTube, there was no form of hate speech whatsoever within that video. In no way, shape, or form have I called anybody a racial slur. In no way, shape, or form have I stated 
that I hate something. I might dislike something. And I've said this time and time again. I have a problem with terrorists. I don't have a problem with Muslims. I don't have a problem with black people. I don't have a problem with any other race or religion. I don't even consider myself a religious person. In fact, in some ways, in some way, shape, or form, I even call myself, well, I don't even call myself an atheist because to believe in something, you gotta believe, or, or to not believe in something, you gotta believe in something else. By saying that you don't believe, you're basically saying that you do believe. That there's not something there. I recognize that there's a higher force. I don't recognize myself as a religion. And that is the difference. I don't slander every religion. I state the facts. Excuse me, while I point to the correct side. I state the facts. And of course, half of the time, my opinion does get mixed into the facts. Which is why I'm standing right here in the middle between fact and corruption. The fact of the matter is, is that I'm constantly being attacked by YouTube, and there's really nothing I can do about it, all except for playing my video games and then shutting up. That's basically what YouTube is trying to get me to do. Just play your fucking video games and shut up. No! I'm not going to shut up. I'm going to stand up for what I believe in. I'm going to stand up for my right. You claim, you, YouTube, you claim to protect freedom of speech. Then why does it seem that you're attacking the truth, the right, the radical right? Excuse me, me. I don't even consider myself a Republican. I don't consider myself conservative. You see that right there? That is what I believe in. This. This is what I believe in. That is what I believe in. And that is what I'll always believe in. And there's a reason why that's on the left side. There's a reason why I'm now going to show this in every single video that I post from now on, that includes this mask. And I'll make sure that it sticks to the right. That it sticks towards the light. Because this side represents the truth. While this side represents you. Within the next month or two, I'm going to try to contact a lawyer. Because I, I, I'm sick and tired of this. I, I really am. I'm, I'm, I'm sick and tired of being punished for something that I didn't do. I'm tired of all these small channels getting punished left and right. I got my left and right mixed up. Excuse me while I reverse the order. While channels are basically being attacked left and right, because they don't want facts, they don't want the truth, they don't want to support the right, they want to support the left, they want to slander the president's name and blame 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 anybody who gets in their way 
Wanna know why I'm being attacked? Because they know how loud I'm getting. I think, I personally think YouTube I, I personally think YouTube knows I'm getting loud. I'm getting pretty loud. I'm getting people to, to subscribe to me. And not because of my gaming videos or my emergency alert system mocks. Yes, there are people who come to my channel for those types of things. For the gaming and for the emergency alert system mocks. But when they see a video like this about one death eater being serious about one death eater possibly thinking about suing excuse me possibly thinking about suing youtube the one platform i'm actually trying to make a living on instead of suffering through life struggles day after day after day after day after day And you wonder why people are switching to Twitch. They, they wonder why people are switching to platforms like Twitch for constant live streaming. They wonder why people are making Patreons. This is why. Because people are afraid that if they say the wrong thing, YouTube will take away their monetization. They already did. They already took away my monetization because they've raised the subscriber rate to 1,000 subscribers. You gotta have 1,000 subscribers in order to be monetized. And even when you get 1,000 subscribers, they still have to review your channel. So they would still have to review my fucking channel. And I would still get denied because I support the president. I support our current president. And that's going to be the downfall of one death theater because I supported the president in 2016. And I plan on supporting the president in 2020. And because I dislike Obama. And because I dislike Hillary Clinton. Because I know what they stand for. The facts are out there. It's just YouTube wants to hide all that. I'm going to name this video something, something serious. Something that would probably get a bunch of people's attention. I'm going to name this video my last proposal. I, no, not, not that. Excuse me. How about a serious note, or on a serious note? Because it's very serious. So this this might be a threat towards YouTube, but I hope they I, I hope I've gotten their attention because I'm fucking serious about this. Or at least I'm halfway serious about this. I'm not entirely sure if I really want to commit my fucking time. With no fucking money whatsoever. To try to find a goddamn lawyer who's going to support me. And go through with this. I'm going to be wasting. Ten years. Of my life. Trying to save this pathetic channel. Because I'm constantly being a check. And I might not just save this pathetic channel, but I might be saving somebody else. Somebody else who's walking in my shoes right now. Somebody who supported the president doesn't want to say something or maybe has been saying something about it. And has been going through the same struggle that I'm going through. I want to save... An opportunity for people that look up the, that look up to YouTubers like Markiplier, Jacksepticeye. Excuse me while I'm pointing to the wrong way. Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, uh, PewDiePie, 
anybody else People that look up to the big YouTubers and say, I want to do what they're doing. I want to inspire people. I want, I want to do something. And I fit in with those people because I'm trying to do something. But I'm constantly being bashed by YouTube. I'm, I'm, I'm literally the only one who's complaining about YouTube attacking me because that's what I feel is happening. Neither of my friends, or at least my, my so-called friends from the Roundtable Gaming, don't want to support that, that, that fact that I'm constantly being attacked. Hell, even Spike said himself, oh, it's not because you're being attacked, it's because you broke a rule. What rule denies me the right to talk about something that I feel needs to be talked about. What rule gave that right of freedom of speech away? Because let me tell you something. I, and this is the last time I'm going to say it. There was no form of bullying. Because there's nobody else in that video but me. And there was no hate speech involved in the other video. Because trust me, I would know. Because I wouldn't have uploaded that video at all. And that video really shouldn't even exist in the first place if it wasn't for the fact that you decided you, YouTube, that you decided to remove the first video in January. After that little school shooting. Maybe, maybe all this could have been prevented if we took guns away. And I'm not going to dump that low. I will never dump that low. I would rather see myself get bullied day after day than to suffer other people's rights getting taken away. I will not stand for that. And I will fight for my right. And I will fight for other people's rights. And it's funny because I'm pointing to my right even though it's the left of the video. Thought I'd make a little joke. The point is, is that in the in the eventual next couple of months, I'm going to find myself a lawyer. I'm going to I'm going to go to court. And I hope to God they allow me to dress just like this, with a fucking trench coat, with a fucking robe, with a fucking mask, with the fucking gloves. Because at that point, this costume changes. At this point, this costume doesn't represent one death theater. This costume, at that point, would represent every small channel that is struggling right now. And that every small channel in the eventual future that will eventually struggle just like me, and just like every other small channel that is struggling right now. I promise you, I promise you, if you are a small channel that's struggling right now, that's just like me, that's just trying to fight, but YouTube's just holding you back, and you're stuck with 600 subscribers, because there ain't a goddamn thing YouTube's gonna do, there ain't no goddamn fucking algorithm that's gonna save you, This costume immediately changes if I do end up deciding to sue. Immediately. 
this costume will represent every small channel. And by God, if I lose, I guess everybody else loses. And I guess that would just mean that every small channel had better not support the president. Every small channel better not say anything mean. And every small channel better not have watched Von Death Eater or any other fucking conservative or any other fucking American at this point. That's what I consider myself. I am an American. I'm not conservative. I'm not Republican. I'm an American. That's what I am. That's what I represent. And that's what I stand for. And that's all I have to say about that. I expect an answer. I expect that strike to go away within the next week or two. Or even within the month. Within the rest of this month. If that strike does not go away. Things are going to start get serious. This weekend, I could be looking for a lawyer. I expect an answer soon. I dare anybody who's, who's come this far. Share this video. Share it with anybody who has ears. Share with anybody who wants to listen to my story. Because, let me tell you something. This story has not ended. This long story that started at the beginning of this year has not ended just yet. And it's about to get explained in the biggest way possible. One Death Eater takes YouTube to court. Will that happen? I guess we'll find out within the next month. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day. Goodbye.